Have you taken the time to check out the titles in my video? Because they're really kind of neat. Um, you can click on any of them to get a little preview of how they work and see the animation. Now you can always go in on these titles and you can change fonts and you can change colors and customize it to really make it like your own. But it's just kind of neat to go through and check these because there's some really nice, neat stuff that you can do. Um, and pro tip, if you don't like any of these existing titles, there's a little section here called In Season that has holiday and special occasion titles. It's very fun. Um, my favorite, of course, being some of these um, Halloween titles, like Halloween Fright Fest. And all you got to do is grab it, drag it down into your timeline, and then go to your edit pencil. And now you can customize this any way you want. So a uh, fun way to really kind of kick off your, your movie in a creative way. Let's talk about adding credits at the end of the at the end of your movie. It's a good place to put your name, but also a good place to give credits to um, maybe anyone or any place where you've got additional materials. So um, in we video on the tab that says text is where you'll find all of your different kinds of titles and you'll have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see there's this basic end credits and you can grab that. Um, you can drag it wherever you need to. So you can see I already have it at the end of my uh, movie here. And what you do is when you click on the little section, you select it, you'll see I hover over my little stack there and I get the edit pencil. And that's where I went in and added all my names and everything. Also, like remember you can change your text and you can change the color and the size and stuff. So don't always just leave it to default. You can do something fun with it, but you hit done editing. And now here's the thing. I can finish my movie. My credits are still. So you might be thinking, well, I want rolling credits. I want like like actual like movie credits. You can do that with Wii Video. You actually just have to go back to your pencil. And now instead of cha we're changing the text, you click on the animation and you actually grab your text box. You put it where you want it to start. And then you move your text box where you want it to end. And then you can test it by playing in here. So you can see those are my rolling credits. So now when I have my credits in my movie, there's my credits rolling through. Now there's something else on here that's another awesome finishing touch, especially for things like credits, because you see how it just ends there like that, but it's really great for movie too. And that is that I use the fade in, fade out quite a bit. So I like to click on my uh, movie sections and right next to your little edit pencil is this fade in and out function and you can click it and it instantly fades your video in and out one second. You can go into your actual video and you can do that too and you can have it fade in and out one second. You can have it do it with the audio too if you want but um, that's a great little finishing touch that just makes things look really good. So watch what happens here. High five, fade out, fade in as the text is coming up and then you'll watch the text fade out at the very end. Beautiful. A great way to kind of tile the parts of your video together and to create a good flow for your video is to add some um, background music and kind of layer it in the back. And it can be very low too, even if there's talking. Um, so the best place to go find video or audio for your video is in the essentials library, which is the star icon here. And you can type in anything you want. So I'm going to type in spooky because I have this lovely spooky title and I'm going to search audio. And what happens now is all of my results are just audio results and I can go in and I can click on these and I will get a little preview of what are sometimes just sound effects, but you can also find music. So I found a song here called Twisted Horror Piano that I think will do okay. So I'm gonna grab this, put it underneath my film and you can see it's way too long. So what I have to do is I have to scroll down to the end, actually shorten that a little bit there. Um, and I can just scroll that back to the end of my movie and I can use my little trick to fade my audio in and out. But during the time where I'm talking in the movie, 
I might not want this so loud. It makes it hard to hear things. So what I can do is I can actually click on the little sound waves here and I can bring things down or up, depending on what your goal is. And you can adjust the levels of your sound. So it can go from louder to quieter. Now this particular video clip is quite low anyways, but you can see how the sound goes from louder uh, to quieter and then back here. So it's just kind of a neat polished finishing touch, something you can use with your movies uh, that just kind of helps keep the story going and kind of ties everything all together. The last tip I want to share with you as far as finishing touches go is to look back over your sections of video that have um, talking or narratives and think about is there a way to use captions to maybe kind of help tell your story. Now this particular uh, audio clip was from a uh, video I did about different green screen effects and this was my very end scene. So something that maybe would help, because um, the sound is very low on this, is maybe I want to just add a little uh, note on here that says thanks for watching right at the same time I do the little high fives. So I can grab in my text tab at the very bottom of the titles, you see we have basic subtitle box, basic subtitle. I'm gonna grab just that basic subtitle and I'm gonna drag it on top of my video clip so you can see it shows up underneath here. Now, just like everything else, if I click on it and I go to my edit pencil, I can go in here now and I can change my text. Thanks for watching. I can go in, I can change my font, so I don't have to leave it just the same old, you know, normal text you get. I can even adjust the size, I can change the colors and things like that. What is also interesting is that it doesn't have to be a traditional caption at the bottom. I can grab this and I can throw it to a different section of the video if I want. So now when you watch this, and you can see where it pops up on the side there, that's a great way to kind of fill video if you have empty space in the picture, or if you're trying to do something with talking and your audio is less than perfect and you're trying to express specific points, you can always overlay captions on top to maybe give specific steps or vocabulary or important points that you're trying to get across and it helps to reinforce your message. So these are all things you can do to add to your video and just kind of give it those little finishing touches, those little polished sort of effects that will make everything look really great.